Hey guys, uh, you got thank you, thank you for uh, for joining us. I'm gonna not waste the time. I'm gonna go ahead because I know a lot of people were um, were hoping I spoke about the 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 ongoing situation with with Vince McMahon a while ago. I want to. If you're looking for for this channel to be a channel that that breaks news, I hate to inform you, I'm never going to be that. I'm not a not a journalist. I'm not an anchor. My partner back here is messing with the lights. So if you see lights, obviously we weren't ready again. <laughs> but um, I'm never going to be the guy that's breaking news. I'm never going to be the guy that is trying to trying to be first with anything. I would rather get something right rather than be first. And that's why I haven't wanted to to speak on the situation with you know, with what's going on with Vince, with what's going on with Johnny Ace, with what's going on just with the WWE in general. Um, and also, and I'll get to my, I'll, I'll definitely get to, to my thoughts on, on everything and just the, the, the appalling um, articles that we've all been reading. But I, I just want to, I know what it's like to have negative press that is, that's not true said about you and when i had my issue years back so many things came out like for instance you know i saw my i had my arrest and you know people were saying that i had thousands of painkillers in my house and at the time i had four so i know what it's like to have just negative just lies said about you i never want to be that person who's spreading that information and i won't be um, I've made you a promise from this channel from day one. I want to a speak about stuff if it pertains to me and b speak about things that are only uplifting other people. That said, I understand that what's going on. It's, I understand it's one of those monumental sea changes that the WWE will never be the same. It's never going to be the the wrestling that we all grew up with it's never going to be the yeah it, the mcmahon's are never going to probably be a part of it again and that's probably for the better but that's it well like i said he's playing with the lights but that's it that's too much that's too much yeah that's too much it's way too much i literally feel like i'm I literally feel like that somebody's about to ask me where I was last Friday night. <laughs> that said, I, I I recognize the just the gravity of this situation. So, you know, I do owe it to you guys to speak on it. Um, I don't know anything to be true. I don't know anything to be false. I don't know the young lady at question. I don't know any of the other you know females from my time that might have been affected by such allegations. So to ask if I, you know, if I saw anything firsthand, I did not, um, you know, does, I mean, do, do I believe the allegations? I don't have any reason to call. I don't have any, any reason to call them, them dishonest. Um, I did take, take a, a time. I read, read the entire, read the entire report and, the last few weeks I've been actually watching what a lot of the, a lot of the other guys in our business, what they've had to say. And most everyone I've agreed with everything that everyone has, has come out with. Um, and just talking about just how horrible of a situation, how much of a black eye this casts on, on wrestling in general. I read one, I saw one thing. And only one thing that I vehemently disagree with, and that was, I'm not going to say who it was from, because everything else he said, I agreed with 100%. And I respect this guy tremendously. But he said he, and, and I understand, it was a knee-jerk reaction, but he said that he, at the time, questioned whether he even wanted to be associated with the wrestling business, whether it was even worth being not only within the WWE, but within wrestling altogether. And I understand that's a knee jerk reaction. That's a reaction just, you know, just off of anger. And I completely understand because I, you know, the, at, at first, you know, I knew 
You know, it's just like when rumble season comes around, I know about it because everybody contacts me about the rumble. So I knew that people were going to be asking me about the Vince situation. And I knew it wasn't a positive you know, reason they were, were asking me. So I understand where he was coming from. What I disagree with his comment and why I disagree is because I, I, I want to be even a small part. And I recognize I'm a small part of wrestling these days. I'm not on a live show. I am not on a weekly show. I am, I hold a very tiny place in a corner of YouTube. And I, and I know that that said, I want to be part of the change. I want to be a part of the business, the wrestling as a whole moving forward. I don't want to not be associated with wrestling. I more than ever now, I do want to be associated with wrestling. I want to be a part of wrestling, getting over this hurdle and moving on to, to better days, because I truly believe better days are ahead of us. I truly believe that, the the shadow that the the Vince McMahon situation and the allegations and the just I mean my God if you read them it's just that I mean they're 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 just damn right damn right just appalling and it's just it uh, it amazes me that you know, that somebody thinks they can control someone else just because they have an economic advantage over them and. That's the one thing that upsets me about this more than anything. But then again, I, I, I wasn't there. I don't know. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what didn't happen. And I do know, I, I do know that sensationalized stories are what gets clicks. And I don't ever want to be the reason that, you know, like I said, you're never gonna, you're never gonna go to my channel to have breaking news. And I never want to have to go back and, and print a retraction or speak a retraction in any way. So saying, stating that I want to be a part of this business moving forward for the positive, um, you know that on this channel, we like to like to donate and we have actually found a good cause. Do you have the name of it? Uh, yeah, he's going to pull up the name and, and um, any money. And again, I'm not asking, I promised you, I'll never ask. I'm not asking now. I'll never ask you for anything on this channel. I'm not going to, not the guy. Click, like, subscribe. I'm not that guy. I'm not going to ask you for money. But if you decide to give us money, and if you decide to give us money tonight, 100% of it, I'm not keeping a damn dime of it. I don't want a dime of it. We're going to do good. I tell you, I want to move forward. I want to be a part of the positive of this business moving forward. We're going to start that tonight. And what what's the name of it? Hope and Healing Survivor Resource Center. Hope and Healing Survivor Resource Center. And what is it you, you were reading to me? It's, a battered, it's a battered women's shelter. battered women's shelter, and it's a crisis center for for victim women, females who have, have suffered rapes. So any donation tonight, that's a hundred percent. I'm not keeping a dime of it, guys. A hundred percent of it is gonna be sent to that charity and you can hold me accountable we will get that over to them when when will we get that to them as soon as youtube gets it to us, as soon as YouTube gets it to us we will get it to them you have my my utter utter 100 word now that said i'm not asking for a dime if you don't have money to give that's fine i just it blows my mind again that people that people decide to give but no that 100 percent of where that money comes from tonight that's what it's going to um, I do understand also that this is, you know, this is a tough subject. This is a touchy subject. I've literally read every response from every person on every side and yeah, I get it. I, I understand where it, where it's tough, but you know what? I want to hear what your responses are. I want to hear what your questions are. I want to see where your comments are. I want to know where your mind's at. How do we move forward? How does, how does not only the WWE, but how does wrestling in the, as a whole move forward? How do we get, you know, get past this bump in the road to, to make, make us better to, to make the product, this business that we love, how do we get to the point to where 
you know, when whenever people hear wrestling, they don't all of a sudden, you know, get a scowl on their face and think, oh, but how do they get a smile on their face and think, yeah, that that reminds me of my childhood. That reminds me of of this show I saw. That reminds me of when I saw The Undertaker, or Ric Flair or, or Shawn Michaels. That reminds me of when I saw Triple H in Connecticut or that reminds me when I saw this or that. How do we get back to that? I'm interested to hear in your comments because I'll be honest with you. Um, I, I have no, I have no idea other than moving the ball forward with positivity, doing things, doing things like, like we're going to try to do with, uh, with this tonight, but I'm interested to hear how, what you guys think. That said though, obviously, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm also here. Do you have any questions for me? Hey, ask me. We are here. I am in um, sunny Sandy Fargo, North Dakota. No, I'm kidding. It's absolute. It's a disaster out there. It's offensively cold here. I think it you know, maxed out at 28 degrees today. And and yeah, it's 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 ridiculous. I don't have a clue how anybody lives here. But what what's our first question? Amen. Oh, thank you. Raimundo Alfredo with our first. Don Raimundo Alfredo just donated us a hundred bucks. And Raimundo, thank you so much. 100% of that $100 is going to that shelter. Guys, I recognize how small of a reach we have. I recognize how, you know, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sitting here acting like I'm Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns. I'm not acting like I'm MJF or The Walking Weapon. I know I'm not someone who's on you know, a live program every week, but that doesn't mean that we can't play a small role at getting the ball, you know, you know, moving, moving down the court. Next one. Bourbon Bruce. Love the name Bourbon Bruce. Thank you for the, thank you for the donation. It's the oldest story in the book. Sex has ruined yet another legacy. Yeah. Listen, you're, <laughs> it is it probably you're a hundred percent right, Bruce. That is probably the oldest story in the book. If there's like, I, I heard a long time ago that, um, you know, the answer to every question is money. And, you know, I, I also think the, uh, the, uh, you know, you can add sex to that too, because, you know, the two evils in this story you know, are sex and money. So you're a hundred percent right, Bruce. hundred percent. Yeah. David Duran, $10. Thank you so much. Love you. Uh, love you, David. Thank you so much. And guys, listen, I, I, I hope I'm not like making anybody down tonight. I just wanted to come on here and give the gravity of the situation that it's that, you know, I wanted to give it its due. I didn't want to come in here and, you know, cutting jokes and laughing and making dumb, you know, stupid observations that I usually do. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to show the seriousness of this situation. Um, you know, that said, I am always, you know, I, I'm the guy who at my mom's funeral, <laughs> I cut, I told three jokes <laughs> when I was eulogizing my mother. So, you know, for me personally, humor is how I get through life. It's how I've gotten through anything difficult in my life. And I believe there is a, there is always a place for humor. So I, I say that, that, so if you, if you see me laughing or joking or anything tonight, please don't, please don't view that as disrespect. That's not what it is. That's just my, that's my, you know, my mechanism. That's the, how my brain's wired and just it's mechanically, you know, inclined to turn something negative into something attempted to be funny. And I'm not good at it all the time, but on the off occasion I am, it's pretty damn good. David Whelan with the, uh, with the, and across the pond, David, Literally, we have someone from across the pond giving us money. Someone from another country wanting to make this situation in our country that we're going through better. And I can't thank you enough, David. Thank you so much. Okay. We got the second second chapter of War and Peace here. Gabe the American, thank you so much for the for the uh, donation. Always respect your careful thoughts, Maven. Hold it there because I'm going to – I do I do weigh and measure my thoughts. And again – I'm not knocking anybody who goes out there and shoots off the hip. God knows in my younger years, I did that. I made a living off of it. Well, not make a living. I just made it. I, that was my life. I I told you in, in past videos, I used to have one hell of a temper. And age and experiences has you know, bet, bedded that down a little bit. But 
Um, I do. Thank you for noticing. I do try to really have careful and thoughtful ideas. It's always hard when someone you respect is charged with awful stuff. People are complex, just as comms. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to focus on the last two lines of that. People are complex. People are, oh my God, people are amazing. People are thoughtful. People are genuine. People are generous. People are gracious. And then the flip side of that coin, people can be evil. People can be backstabbing, manipulative. People can be just insidious creatures. I have no doubt in my mind that human beings are some of the, are, are the most evil animals on this planet because of situations just like this, because of the ability to take someone in a less fortunate situation, see them as food, because that's all it was. He saw her as food. You know, she was, yeah, yeah. she was food. She was just someone that he could just, just use and, and do whatever with. And that's, yeah. And your last comment in that statement was justice, justice comes. I'm not going to, I'm not going to you know, put the cart before the horse on this because the one great thing about this country is we do have a justice system. And um, although, you know, it's probably not a, not a statement that people want to hear, but we live in a country where everyone's, you know, innocent and feel guilty. And we have a system in place to, you know, to prove to prove guilt or innocence. And I admit it's leading, it's heavily leading <laughs> towards, uh, yeah, towards, towards the latter. What I will say is whatever justice or whatever is proved, whatever is proven in a court of law or whatever is, whatever punishment befalls anyone in this situation, whatever punishment finds anyone who who had a hand in this i'm all for it i'm all for it i hope it i hope it comes and i hope it comes swift and i hope it comes and it's it's menacing but that said we do have a system and we have to respect that system whether you like it or not i didn't write the damn thing jeremy weaver thank you for the gift jeremy great uh great great calls maven thank you so much keep being a positive like I, listen i I don't know. Oh, my back hurts tonight, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know how much of a positive, you know, light anyone can cast can can cast on this situation. But listen, I just want to be. I just want to be play a small, minuscule role. If what we're able to do tonight, if it can help one life, then my hour spent on here is it's time well spent. So. That's that's my goal. That is definitely my goal. Next one, uh, Pontiac Bandit nine hundred two. Ah, I like that. I, Smoking the Bandit was one of my favorite movies growing up. I still watch it when it comes on. Love it. Thank you for the donation. Nova Scotia, Canada loves the channel. Cheers. Ah, thank you so much. Some of the best, some of my best memories were were up in in that that part of of Canada. It's some of the most beautiful country. I've ever seen. And it's, yeah, I was always, yeah, we were always welcomed with open arms up there. And I literally, I could, I could move there tomorrow, never see anyone else and just live in the woods. I'd probably, I'd probably be content the rest of my life. I love it up there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I see we got, what is that? Am I seeing this right? We have 5,000 people on this damn yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, man. I told you we need to pick a night when nothing was going on. <laughs> hmm. I was like, I was like, when do you want to do this? And he's like, let's do it. Let's compete against something. I'm like, no, let's do it when nothing else is going on. Looks like I was right. <laughs> All right. Uh, La Pis La Nula. Thank you so much for the donation. I think we are already on the road to change. I'll always be a wrestling fan. So will I. <laughs> True love. And you're going to use this. I promise you're going to use this moving forward if you already don't. True love, the definition of true love is a feeling that you can't put in and you can't take out. Meaning it's something that even if you didn't want to love it, you still love it. And if you don't love it, but you wanted to, you can't make yourself love it. And that's how, 
I know, Laluna, I know that's how you feel about wrestling. I know that's how I feel about wrestling. Everybody I mentioned earlier that I watched and their reactions and their visceral reactions and sometimes their knee jerk reactions. That's all that is, is love. And, you know, and, you know, passion and reason rarely collide in the same sentence. So I understand knee jerk reactions and I get it. But like you, Man, I love this business. I love the stupidity of it. I love, I, I, like, <laughs> Randy and I used to ride down the road. And we used to, like, literally, and Jindrak, too. Jindrak would be in the car as well. And we would literally be like, just, man, think about what we do. We're grown men wearing our underwear, putting baby oil on ourselves, and having fake fights for a living. Man, that's the dumbest thing. If you say that out loud, that's the dumbest thing on earth you can think. And for whatever reason, man, we all loved it. And it's just, it's so ridiculous, but it's an art form unlike any other. And it's got its, it's got its place where people think it's, you know, stupid. And, and I know I did the review on the John Oliver thing one time, and I know he probably thinks that, that the business is stupid. And I know we did the review where we talked about Bill Maher, and I know he thinks wrestling is stupid, but who gives a damn what any of them think? What do you think? I love the business. I think it's an art form unlike any other. I think guys can go out there and tell a story with their bodies and with just you know, the face and aggression and baby faces fighting back and showing hope. Man, that's a story unlike like like you get a movie, man, you can tell a story through a narrative. And all we're doing is having a different type of narrative. And I love it. I love the art and I love the storytelling of it. So I agree with you 100 percent. Well, enough. Excellent comment. Thank you for the thank you for the, the help. Marcus Hopkins. Thank you, Marcus, for the don't say yourself short, Maven. Your voice matters. Oh, th thank you. You're a part of a culture history of WWE. We're here with you to make a change. I, listen, it's not selling myself short, but if I came out here and I you know, said, hey, I'm the one, I'm going to be the reason that, that I'm going to be how we move forward. You'd be like, oh, yeah, get over yourself, asshole. Um, I just I recognize my place. I recognize my station. I recognize my you know what what it is I have. And you know what? I could not be the more. I, man, I literally go to bed every night. I can't believe that we have this channel. I can't believe that that we have Friday videos coming out. It still blows my mind. And I'm just so thankful. But that said, I'm also I'm also thankful and I recognize that I'm not, like I said, not a Seth Rollins. I'm not a Roman Reigns. I'm not a guy that's on on TV week after week. So I know my place. I just I, I, I even where my place is, I want to do better. I want to be a part of the change and I'm happy you guys want to be a part of the change as well. Give me the next one. Jim K, your stories are great. Uh, yeah, like I love, man. I I got uh I I got so many, so many stories. And and I love telling them. And I love um because I do, I think I was involved in a time in the business when when it was, you know, it there was a how do I put this? <laughs> I was involved in a part in a time in the business when I would say it was the last era before before this ruined everything. And how do I mean ruined? Yeah, this makes our life easier. And yeah, if I want a pizza, I can get it now. Or if I want to go someplace, Waze is going to tell me how to get there. If I want to know, if I want to know what yeah, uh, LeBron James is thinking right now, I can go in there and find out. But that has also taken away a lot of a lot of people's privacy. I was a I was involved in the last era when that was when a cell phone was strictly just that a cell phone and you know knowing that like we <laughs> we had some we had some good times knowing that everybody wasn't recording us at the time I don't know how these guys get away with it now I have no clue literally no clue I would be just I would be on edge you know just like this all the time that said I'd probably be all over all over all the social media sites too I'd probably have have a ton of followers knowing the dumb stories I'd be telling, but thank you, Jason Braun. Thank you so much for the donation. Every again, 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 I'll never ask you for anything, but tonight a hundred percent of every dollar you guys give us and Jason Braun, every bit of that money right there is going to that charity. That's going to help women. It's going to help women that have, that have struggled, that have struggles. It's going to help women who are victims of rape. It's going to help women who are in, in a battered situation. 
every dollar of it's going to go to that. So thank you. Kindness always gets the clean three count in the middle. Yes, it does. Keep spreading it. Much love to all. Thank you so much. Um, I do believe I, I agree with that statement. Kindness wins. I think love wins. I think love is you know, and it's, it's tough, man. Love, you know, what do they say in the absence of light darkness prevails? And that is God, that is true. So I just want to be a light. I want to be some, something that's, I want to be, you know, part of the positivity moving forward. So thank you. And you guys are, you guys are helping with that. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Let's, uh, and if you, again, if you have questions, like I said, I don't, you know, I wanted to give this the weight out there and the gravity that it deserved, but I don't want this to completely be somber. Man, let's have some fun. Definitely ask me questions, do whatever. Make me laugh like you always do. Altered Beast, man, one of my favorite games from the Sega Genesis back in the day, Altered Beast. I still remember that game. You're probably too young. Did you ever play that game? I know what you're about. You don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> stop, stop, stop lying. Do you really know what it is? Yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation, Altered Beast. Um, I said, arise from your grave. <laughs> Maven, love you, man. Love you too, guy. Uh, you look great as if you're about to return and start a feud. Man, <laughs> no, that's that's just good lighting. What are your uh, consistency in maintaining your look and health, Danny? Like, okay, like, again, I'm going to prove to you guys right now. I'm sitting here. We've been filming videos all day. I am um, I'm sweating like a pig. I know you guys think I wear makeup. I'm going to prove to you I don't. Look, I'm fucking sweating like a we're in church over here. Let me see. You guys think I wear makeup? Look, I swear, no makeup. But I just literally, I, I mean, I don't know. I think I look, I think I look, I look myself in the mirror every day and I'm like, God, you look old. You, you look weathered. But, you know, I'll take that compliment. You know, never, you know, never, never backhand a good compliment. So I'm certainly not going to start there. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's 47 year old guys that look worse than me, so I'll take it. Moon Man Tech, thank you for the donation. Keep, is there any chance you go back to the WWE in a commentating position? Man, listen, if they call, if they call it that, like, listen, I wanted to go back. What, what year we at? 24. I wanted to go back four years ago. I was ecstatic at the thought I could maybe go back four years ago. So if they call, I'm listening to that phone call. If they, you know, if they if they were interested in having me. Hell yeah, I would go. That said, if AEW called, I would I would listen to what they had to say. I'm not I, I, I'm not at the position where I, you know, I'm going to be making demands on, yeah, I'll only go back for this and this and not this. Now, nah, I would listen to anybody that called. So, no. Uh, i Moomin, Moomin land. And sorry, my Southern accent. Just a little something for the women's shelter. Yeah, that, he literally just, just, that was just a donation just for the, just for the shelter. And again, like guys, thank you so much. I, I, I could not be more ecstatic. And this was, and I give it to my partner. He's the one that, you know, he, he said, we got to, you know, yeah, tonight we got to give a hundred percent of everything we make to the shelter. And and I, I was in complete agreement, agreement immediately. I, I love the idea. I absolutely love the idea. And uh, like, again, and I don't take it, don't take it as a negative where I say, I'm never going to ask you for anything, but I just, I don't want to be the guy. I don't want to be the, the person. Like, I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I don't, I still have my real job. <laughs> I don't consider myself a, a, a guy. Like I never considered myself a WWE superstar though. So like I don't consider myself I'm, like I'll never consider myself an influencer. That's the dumbest title ever to me. You know, but I do recognize this platform. I do recognize right now that we have 5,100 people watching, and I do recognize that we're going to be able to do good with any any amount we get tonight. So for tonight, I will say, any money you give, 100% of it's going on there, and hold me accountable. Check the community. As soon as YouTube releases it to us, we will release it to them. And like always, we're going to say it's from you guys. I'm not going to say it's for me, although I'm going to say in, in, in the notes, thank you to every single one of you who donated and every single one of you who, who watched tonight because, like, like I said, we don't have this. We don't have any of this. I'm not renting this Airbnb without each and every one of you. So thank you, Zach Kelly, uh, huge, huge donation. Zach, thank you so much. 
for that. I appreciate it, brother. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> oh, no, this is a great name. Ronald Reagan, commie hunter. I love it. I love it. That's so good. So good. Love you, Maven. Good to see a guy with integrity. Ah, well, listen, I, uh, listen, don't, do not start canonizing me just yet, guys. I have my fair share of, of problems. I promise you that. I have, I have plenty, plenty of demons that I still battle with and integrity and me <laughs> rarely collide in the same sentence. But in this situation, being honest to you guys, I like, I hope, and I've encouraged, you know, if you ever see me out, come up, talk to me, call me out. If I'm not exactly what you see right here, call me out right then and there, because I promise you, I am what you see right now. And I know I've, I've read the comments. Uh, Maven's acting. He's this, he's that. I'm not that damn good of an actor. I have no idea to be how to be anything but me. So um, call me out, come up and meet me. And I promise you, um, I don't I, I don't know if I would put integrity with my word, but what I will put is honesty. And I, I will I mean I just I just I just care about making you know making people's lives a little bit better with the small amount of what God's given me. That's it. It's as simple as that. Miguel Meza, just want to help. 10 bucks. Thank you so much. Like again, thank like we have man, we have literally, um, yeah, yeah, we're, I think tonight we're going to do really, that we're going to do good. And it's weird. And tell me if you agree with this, when the, when the allegations, when everything dropped, it's, it's weird because I don't think I've ever read or seen something where I was shocked and equally not shocked at something at the same time. Like I literally, like I was literally like, reading it and then i was like yeah that makes sense makes it does because it didn't it just it didn't really stump me and and that's sad and yeah i hate to say that tell me if you agree or disagree with that all right we have two here jeremy weaver this is my second donation thank you so much jeremy um how much are we up to let's keep it rolling most underrated rest, uh, wrestling story from you thank you so much and scott woodford um, and both guys are, well, yeah, both guys are given, given tonight. Keep up the great work. Stevie Richard puts over, puts you over big time. Listen, guys, thank you for the, those donations. And every time I've been on here, I've made sure to, um, you know, to, to push what Stevie Richards is doing. I want to encourage everyone tonight. Do me a favor, everybody. If you are, um, if you are subscribed to Stevie Richards channel, go on there, leave him a message. He's Stevie's having a hard time getting videos put through. And what do I mean by that? So Stevie doesn't have, I have a, a partner. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I have a partner who has worked on YouTube since when, when did you start? My first video in Two, I've had, I have a partner who's been working on YouTube since 2009 so he has all the bugs and kinks. He knows how to get videos past, you know, past a lot of the copyright claims. Stevie's having a hell of a time right now getting a lot of his videos past that copyright claims. Do me a favor tonight. If, if you're not subscribed to Stevie, Stevie Richards wrestling, you know, wrestling analysis, go on there, subscribe. I want to get him. I, I want him to get, he's so close to that silver play button. He's so close to a hundred thousand subscribers and he puts out great work. He does something I couldn't do. And, and I know like, because Steve and I text all day long, me and him, we, we literally text every day. I wake up and this is hand to God, the honest truth. I wake up every morning because Stevie's a nut job. He gets up at like 2.30 to do cardio. So he beats me up every morning. But I wake up every morning to a Bible verse and just a, a devotion to kick my day, kick forward my day. That's literally how I start every day is positive words from Stevie Richards. He is truly one of the good guys in this business. Go on his channel, subscribe to his channel. He puts out good stuff. And Stevie doesn't have a Zach that I have. 
he's doing it a hundred percent. He's a one man show. He's a one man operation. And I like, literally, I feel so bad that he sometimes goes, you know, he you know put a 20 minute video out and 15 minutes of it gets clawed back from, you know, copyright claims. So let's encourage him to keep, cause I don't, I don't want him to stop what he's doing because he puts out he, what he does. I couldn't do. So do me that favor tonight as well, guy. You know what I say? I won't ask anything of you. I'm actually, I, I I'm a liar. I'm a, I'm a bullshitter. I'm taking it back. I'm asking that of you tonight. If you're not subscribed to Stevie Richards Wrestling Alliance Analysis, do it right now. Well, do it after after we get off. But you know, Steve is one of the good ones. He's one of the guys in this business can, that that can help this business go forward, not backwards. He's one of those guys that can shed positively to positivity, not darkness. Let's reward him for that. And Renee Dupree too. Cafe Day Renee. Renee's another one who, like, literally, I would I would check out Renee's channel every day because the stories that that he tells the stories that he has Paul London on to tell because Paul had you know Paul knows Paul knows parts of this issue firsthand and that's another good channel to subscribe so subscribe I can't man I cannot say that word subscribe <laughs> my southern accent gets me Seth uh the guy fifty dollars. Look at that, Seth. Thank you so much. What a hell of a donation. Uh, and the last guy wanted to know what we were up to. Is there a way of figuring that out? Is it on my? Oh, hold up. Uh, let me see that. I didn't see the question. Hey, Maven. Appreciate you being here. Thank you, Seth. Is there still a fear that people will be retaliated uh, against if either person gets out of the allegations, or is it more of having a hard time grappling with someone you know? doing something uh so terrible let me read that one more time um i don't know if you're asking if if i have fears of retaliation i don't give a shit i don't care what anybody thinks of me I'm, i don't i'm asking nothing from anybody in any organization or any business i'm not trying to make anybody happy i do this for me ain't a damn person there's one person on this planet that that i go to to help me pay my bills and he's standing right there that's the only person that I, I'm accountable to. Anybody else? Because I, I, I get the comments all the time. I, I'm shocked no one's ever gotten you know you know gotten to you and told you to stop putting this shit. I don't give a shit if they do. What are they going to do? No one. They don't pay my bills. They don't do anything in my life. If they if if I piss them off, get in line. I'm sure I've pissed other people off in my lifetime. But until they pay my bills, they ain't they they have no say in what I do. And especially now, hey, if they start paying my bills, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll readdress that, but <laughs> not now. I don't know if that was the question you asked. I hope it was because that was a hell of a donation. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Phil and throw, <laughs> Phil and throw pissed. I love that. You rock, Maeve, would you do a collab? Uh, would you, you rock, Maeve, would you love to do a collab sometime? Love to. Absolutely. Holy cow. Wait a minute. Am I seeing this right? Take his thing down. Man, we just got a $500 donation with this guy. Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, go to, how can they message? How can they message us? Business email. Yeah, we have a, we have a business email channel page. Um, go on there and put, uh, put like some, some ridiculous title, like, you know, uh, you know, $500 donation or something. Yeah, we'll figure something out. I'll, uh, hell, I'll, for that, for that money, I don't know if you do a channel or if you whatever you do, if you want to interview me or do whatever, you just you just secured that hundred percent. I'll do a collaboration with you, Justin Wells. Five dollars, uh, five dollars. Thank you, Justin. Do you think WWE can ever overcome this situation without releasing a full transparent statement about the situation? Okay, that's uh, that's tough because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now and. You know, this is going to upset some people, but we're never going to get a full transparent, you know, uh, transparent list of everything. I guarantee you that there are it's just it's impossible to know how deep how deep this goes. And somebody will somebody will sidestep justice. Somebody will sidestep. Do I think, though, that I mean, look at the Jeffrey Epstein situation, for instance, like they've been what saying for years that the list, you know, it's going to come out and we're st still waiting for it. 
So I think it's going to be almost one of those situations. Although I do think, you know, they're going to keep trickling, um, you know, a name here or a situation there or something. But, hey, life moves on. And this is going to become one of those stories that although it's always it's, it's gravity and it's its importance is always going going to, you know, it's always going to be one of those <gasps> shock and awe type of stories something else is going to come by and replace it. That's just how human beings are. Um, and it's going to be one of those things that you think of and, and, and you think of, ah, that was crazy. But did you see this? Um, yeah. But that also means I think we can get past this. I think the WWE can get past this. I mean, I love that, that rocks on the board now. I love that there's new ownership. I love, you know, I, I think, cause I think it can take it in a different direction. I think it can, I, 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 I know it's, it will move in a more positive situation. I just hope this time moving forward, they, you know, exercise a little bit of, of better. I don't even know what, what you would say, what, how you would do it, but I hope they just exercise better control when hiring people, you know, that are at the top levels of that company. I hope it's not a, a, a you know, a favor. <laughs> and I hope it's, I definitely hope it's not more nepotism run, run amok. But then again, I say that, and Shane Shane McMahon's one of the coolest human beings I've ever met. And I'll never have a negative word to say about Shane, you know, ever. He's literally one of the coolest, coolest guys I've ever met. You know, so I don't know. It, we will get past this, yes, 100%. Just like anything in life, and and like, like a pain, like a cut, like a broken leg, just going to take time. Uh, steamed, steamed hams and knuckles, man. Where do you guys come up with these names, man? I love it. Maven, love your channel. Thank you so much. It's such a breath of fresh air. Greetings from Australia. I, I love it, mate. Love it down under. Well, we've spent some time in Melbourne and I had a blast. It was like America. <laughs> it was like literally like America, but just driving on the opposite side of the road. Thank you so much for the donations guys. And again, and again, 100% of every dollar we do tonight going to that cause. We're going to go. We're going to help women that have suffered rapes. We're going to help women that have suffered, you know, been in battered, battered situations. I promise you every dime. And again, it's not going to be from me. It's going to be from you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, Jack, Jack loyal 93. Thank you so much for the donation. Several, several guys who left the WWE in the first few years of the ruthless aggression era did so because, and this is quotes, they didn't like the direction the company was going in. Could you elaborate? Yeah. Um, there was a time that the company, you know, when you think of the time, the eras you have, obviously that the, I was at the tail end of um, the attitude moving into the ruthless aggression and then the ruthless aggression. Once it moved out of that era, it moved more towards a, a like a PG product. And by that, I mean, it was just a lot of things we couldn't say, a lot of scenarios they weren't allowed to put, you know, just allowed to put out. Um, they were trying to get a little bit more kid friendly, a little bit more family friendly, you know, but then again, I never saw, I, I, any shows I was at, I never saw a shortage of children in the audience. So there were parents that were bringing them there. That's probably why, you know, and I admit it, wrestling was more fun. I, I had a blast going out there knowing that I was, you know, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a governor on what I could and could not say, you know, I remember, I remember the, the pay-per-view I did with Shelton where I, you know, where I told him, you know, Caisus Bocas. And then I told him he didn't have any huevos, any, any nuts. Yeah, I don't know if you could say that. I don't know if you could say that now. Maybe, could you? I don't know. Who knows? But that's probably what they were talking about. Um, and then then again, you know, in, a, in directionally, maybe they just didn't like what was happening with their character. I mean, we all think, you know, everybody that, that laces them up thinks that, that, you know, hell, I'm the next Stone Cold. I'm the next Rock. But hmm, really, are you? <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Next, uh, next one. Thank you for the this dipshit. This dipshit right here. This ne next one, Gabe Riviera. <laughs> Maven, you're a real one. Ah, oh, thank you, man. I try to be. Give me that. Give me that damn phone. Uh, 
he's got to fix this this light. Major Gabe, thank you so much. I try to be, man. Listen, I, I told you, age and experience and just just lack of uh, you know uh, you know lack of giving a shit anymore. All it real is the only way I know to be. Love seeing you pop up in GCW. I had a blast in GCW. Did you have fun making appearances there? Would you ever go back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Cardona hooked me up with that experience. Um, the very first time I was in, uh, it's going to fall. I'm just, I'm just giving you the, the predicate right now. It's going to fall. <laughs> but that's all right. It's, fell, it's fallen once. Won't be the worst thing that happens. Um, I was in Dallas when they had Mania there a few years back and Cardona you know, put me in contact with the the owner at GCW and they were doing a, like a battle Royal. And, you know, he was like, yeah, and it was a midnight battle Royal. So I think by the time I went out, it was probably like three 30 in the morning. Yeah. My old ass was half asleep, but I had a blast. And then I, I actually Cardona and Chelsea, Cardona and Chelsea were doing a wedding angle and I legit 100% and I still have it. I got ordained as a minister for a shoot. I'm an ordained minister. If you want a wedding done, I'm the guy that can get it done. Uh, but I got, yeah, ordained as a minister and, you know, got to got to do another GCW show with that. Had a blast and 100% I would, if yeah, if they called, I would 100% entertain any, any, uh, any idea that they might have. I told you, I love this business. I do small show. I'm doing this promotion, BZW, Below Zero Wrestling. That's why I'm in, you know, that's why I am in, you know, Hell's Half Acre right now, Fargo, North Dakota. I think that's what Fargo should be renamed, Hell's Half Acre, because that's how cold it is here. But I'm here doing this BZW show there, Winter Slam, and it's not a big promotion. That didn't stop me from coming. I told you, I love this business. And again, like you guys, I want to be a part of the change of moving forward in this business. Um, K, yeah, Bolick, LE, God bless. And $100 donation. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I just, you just butchered your last name. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much. Ha, thank you so much for the donation. Guys, you guys humble me. Um, Hold off on the questions real quick. You guys know I've talked about my mom a lot in these videos. You guys, if you follow Tough Enough, you know what my mom meant to me. And I hold a lot of consolation in the fact that before my mom passed in 04, she got to see me live my dreams. She would be, she would be more proud of tonight and what we're doing here than any match I could ever have. And that means more to me than you guys could ever know. And I, I get emotional when I think of her, but I'm getting emotional because you guys are, you guys are touching me with this. Again, 100% of tonight doesn't go to me, doesn't go to, doesn't go to him, doesn't go to the camera, you know, the, the camera light he just broke, doesn't go to this mic, doesn't go to me needing a new phone it goes to goes to women that need it and my mom was in a situation my mom was in a tough situation at one point and i witnessed it firsthand i witnessed it firsthand and i was too young to do anything about it and yeah she would she'd be way more proud of this than any WrestleMania or anything. So thank you. All right, God, God damn it. Last thing I want to do is get emotional, you sons of bitches. Jordan Smith, thank you so much for the, thank you so much for the, thank you. And I'm, I, I'm a little emotional because I just passed, like my mom's passing just the other day, it was, it was her 20 year anniversary of her passing. So knowing that, knowing that she's looking down and saying, man, I did something right with that dumbass. <laughs> Makes me happy, guys. Thank you. Love you, Maeve. Love you guys, too. Third time donating. Third time donating. Jordan, thank you so much. Great cause. Do you think Triple H, Paul, being in charge of creative helps or hinders the posi uh, possibility of you coming back? Then because of WWE's reaction to uh, w uh, we want Cody as your fans. We want Maven. Um, man, that's a, that's a, that's a loaded question. Listen, 
I have no idea. Like I see, like I've seen Hunter a handful of times since I left WWE. He's cordial. We stop. We <laughs> and it was funny because the video I did, I it, somebody called me out on it, and, and it, the the comment made me laugh because they were like, Maven sounded like he he you know he got caught up with Hunter, and then then said, yeah, we spent two minutes together, and I was like, yeah, that that it did sound it sounded like you know yeah, caught up with Hunter, we went to dinner, and yeah, and I was like, now nah, we. We talked for two minutes, but we uh, like, I, I have no idea if, you know, it, what he thinks of me. I, I've, I've heard from other people that I know and trust that I was not one of his favorite people. And if so, hey, that's his opinion. Every man's entitled to, every man's entitled to their own opinion. I'm not going to, I'm not going to belittle him for having his, even if it's negative about me. I mean, I'm just going to have to just go and do this or do something else and just find success on other avenues. And you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. Do I think it hinders me? I'll put it this way. I don't think it helps. Read into that what you will. Broken Helix, great name. Uh, Broken Helix literally just wanted to just wanted to donate. Thank you so much, Broken Helix. Thank you so much. And guys, I see we have about eight minutes left. Is there any way to find out how much we've made? Because I know somebody asked that earlier, yeah, and, I'm, I and I'm actually oh, so it's on. It's literally somewhere where I should be seeing it. <laughs> guys, I'm getting better, but I'm far from where I need to be. Um, you know what? We'll find that at the end. Before we go off, let's keep. I want to get to as many questions as we can. I want to get to as many fan comments as we can. We've hovered right around five thousand people. We're at forty-seven hundred tonight, guys. Thank you so much for. It amazes me you guys give a shit what I think or care about or, or listen to what I have to say. It's it's about the most humbling thing in the world because there's like literally days when I wake up and I don't even like myself. So I'm glad you guys do. Um, uh. VL and squared circle Oracle beats yourself up. And what do you guys come up with these names? Thank you so much. Thank you for caring. Make pro wrestling real again. I like that. Make pro wrestling real again. Obviously a play on, you know, something political. We'll never get political on this channel. You have my word, but a play on the political statement. And I like that. Make pro wrestling real again. Um, and I do care. I care because I, you know, I've, I've loved this business for so long and being able to have a part in this business, being able to some of my best friends that I have on earth are in this business. Devon Dudley is one of my best friends on earth. I would take a bullet for Devon in the leg. I mean, in the leg, but I would take a bullet for Devon. And I mean, is Devon a bad person because of what happened? Well, hell no, absolutely not. Al Snow the same way. I'd take a bullet for Al in the leg. Is Al a bad person because of this? Absolutely not. And I just, I hate at the thought that that wrestlers are going to get a bad, bad connotation, a bad name strictly because of this. And that's why in the beginning, like I said, I want to be a part of moving forward. I don't want to shun away, shy away from this business. That's why, because I want to be a part. I want to be a part of the kick out. Um, Sag music and production, hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I know you feel, uh, I lost both my mom and dad at the same time when I was 25. Keep being a good sport, Maven. Wow. Both mom and dad. Wow. Like 25 too. I was, I was 27 when I lost my mom. So I know, I know, I know how difficult it was. And we just got done filming uh, a video from the My Heritage. I know we teased it earlier. We just got it done. What's well, going to be out next week, maybe? Yeah. Next, like, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a week. It's going to be a special video. It's, since it's not a wrestling per se video, we're not going to put it out on Friday. We're going to put it out another day. But it's just, we got the My Heritage results back. And, and I look forward to uh, sharing that with everybody because I literally, I'm 47. I have no, I, I, I told you before, never met my birth father. Don't know his name. Don't care to. Don't give a shit about the man. He didn't want anything to do with me. So I'm going to return the favor. But that said, I never knew what nationality I am. And uh, again, whenever I was in Florida, people thought I was Cuban. When, I was, when, when I'm in New York, people think I'm Dominican. And when I was in Virginia, I was the blackest some bitch people's ever seen. So I've always wondered, well, I finally got those answers. And, you know, people will ask me, they, they'll ask me, they'll say, well, why didn't you, how, how do you not know your father's name? Didn't you ask your mother? My birth mother, 
my birth mother died on the day after Christmas when I was two years old from suicide. So again, when you see me get emotional about, you know, that, when you see me get emotional about, you know, about the just w stuff with women, I have my reasons. I, I, I have my scars and that's why it means something to me. That's, that's why I give a shit. So thank you so much. And that's why I never asked my mom because I just never had a chance to ask her about my birth father, but he didn't want anything to do with me. So eat shit. Ryan Butler. Thank you for the donation, Ryan. Maven, you, man, would you stop shaking the phone? <laughs> you are pure soul. Rock on. Thank you so much, Ryan. I appreciate that. I, again, like the compliments, I don't know how pure I am. I promise you I have my demons. I promise you I have things that I don't want the world to find out. <laughs> I guarantee you I have my skeletons, but I also think, I also think I have something that something to offer. I don't know what, you know, I, I don't know necessarily if that's, if that, and if that's this format, guess what? I am fine with it. If this is what I'm meant to do, if this is what the good Lord has put me on this earth to do for the rest of my days, guess what? I'm going to follow it. I'm going to listen to his words and I'm going to do exactly, exactly that and be thankful of it. RN814, May finally caught, caught a live stream. Yay. Living the dream. <laughs> got to donate a to, got to donate to a great cause. Thank you. Fuck. I hope we didn't. Did we? I, I literally. No. Ah, no, we're still on. Okay. <laughs> Such an idiot. Uh, finally caught a live stream. Got to donate to a great cause. Uh, Tough enough was my intro into pro wrestling. So Maven was my first very favorite wrestler. I was your favorite wrestler. I'm not my favorite wrestler, so I don't know how it was yours, but I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, thank you for everything. Did you ever personally interact with Vince? Any interesting stories? Oh, okay. Great way. Great question. Um, yes, I did. I had a, I, I had a great relationship with Vince. Um, I, I'll tell a quick, uh, a quick story. I know we're you know, bumping up on the end, but if we go a couple minutes over, we're fine. Right, Zach? Yeah. yeah. I will tell a, a, a quick, interesting, uh, Vince story. So <laughs> like once we did tough enough and once I, you know, you know, came out and won and was on the road. Vince used to stop me occasionally and just give me positive feedback on how to make myself better. Now, I, I believe, I believe I, I, I was there because I probably had a look similar to the rock. Don't go thinking he thinks he's the rock. I swear I do not, but I think my look helped me. I think it might've hurt me down, down the line because hell, they already had somebody that looked like this and, was way better than I was. But after WrestleMania 18, <laughs> actually the week of WrestleMania 18, we're in Toronto and uh, you know, Vince is, he's intimidating. And when I'm young and just into the business, I were at the TV hotel in Toronto and I come off of a workout and I get into the hotel and, you know, as we're going up, our door opens and on the hotel, on the third floor, there was a, uh, restaurant. So door opens and in comes Vince and it's just me and Vince in the hotel. And it's kind of like, like, you know, in like the movies where people are standing and that's amazing weather we're having. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's one of those conversations. And all I could really know, I, I wanted to say something that I knew that, you know, maybe prove to him that, you know, okay, this guy, he's trying to, he's trying to meet me outside of wrestling, trying to meet me on another level. So, and I knew he went to Fishburne military school in Waynesboro, Virginia, the town that I'm from. So I, I was like, Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I know you went to Fishburne military school and he, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> and it was just one of those things where I, it was kind of like in dumb and dumber where he walks out and he looks at the guys and he goes, Big gulps. All right, then. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt. <laughs> it was just one of those situations when he got out of the elevator. I was just like this. Oh, God, really? And, you know, but we've all had embarrassing moments like that. It just so happened that my embarrassing moment was with my boss. Although I have one other embarrassing moment. I'm not going to tell it right now. But one day I'll tell the story about the most embarrassing moment of my life. And it is funny. 
Uh, Dead Man Walking Ink, great name. And look at that. Look at that. Am I reading that right? Get the hell out. Another $500 donation. So that's two donations that we've already made over $1,000 tonight. Unbelievable. We're going to, like, like I love the fact. Like, you guys amaze me. Bet you can't get who I used to mark out for. A truly really good cause to help fight. Um, uh, Midian. No. Um, Papa Shanga. No. Let me think. Uh, Rikishi. Um, now nah, who else was in BSK that you marked out for? Guess what? I marked out for the guy too. And like, literally I, like I said, every time I, I, I love what he, uh, did with my career. I love what he's doing on his channel. Uh, check out Taker's channel as well. Uh, my, you know, me and me and my partner talk all the time. You know, I would love, man, I'd love to do a video with him. I would love it. It'd be great. He's doing good stuff too, man. Taker's a Taker's one of those salt of the earth guys. Taker's another one that's going to make sure that's going to ensure that this business doesn't that that the black eye that's that's uh that the business has now is going to heal up one day. He's another one that is a, just a, a amazing amazing human being, and he's going to you know you know just ensure that this business is going to move on and somehow move on stronger. Let me give me a couple more. Uh, pen. And then bladder, uh, in my bladder. I don't care what people say. Your moment throwing out Taker in the Royal Rumble is the best Royal Rumble moment of all time. Well, why? What the hell? What do people say? <laughs> do people say it's not? Hey, every time I see one of the, the the like, hey, top ten Rumble moments, it's always at least in the top ten. So, hey, it's one of those moments that obviously I know. I, I, it's going to be pinned to me for the rest of my life. And I'm fine with that. But it's it's also, it's like tough enough. I know that's going to be pinned to me for the rest of my life. And I'm fine with that. But if at the end of my life, if one day people are standing over my cold, you know, cold, lifeless body. And as they look down and, and you know, shake their head, if, if, if the first thing that comes to mind is, is the Royal Rumble or tough enough or wrestling in general, I have failed as a human being, you wonder why I'm doing what we're doing tonight. You wonder why I'm so passionate about you know, trying to be a positive force moving forward. That's why, because I want to be known for so much more than just the guy that kicked Taker out of the rumble in 02. Surprisingly, I want to be known for more than just the guy that won the very first tough enough. I'll be a failure if that's all I'm known for. So thank you. Thank you guys. Arana 814. Thank you so much for the donation uh, contribution towards the future. Most embarrassing moment story and for being my favorite surprise interest in the 2025 rumble again. Hey, not my call. They call. I'll be there. I hope they call and give me like, hold on, hold on. Uh, the secret is safe with me. Don't worry. I hope they call and give me like six months to get my ass in shape. If they do want me, um, I will tell you this, this, uh, <laughs> hold on. What time is it? I, <laughs> Should I tell my most embarrassing story ever? It's. Is it the one you told me? I, I don't know. What? No, no, not that one. Okay. <laughs> I told my partner my story about the first night I ever went to a strip club when I was in college, and yeah, this this was that the, the one I have is worse than that. Oh. First time I ever going to a strip club in college, I walk in. And I, we had, we were in Florida and we had a, like a 19 hour drive the next day and I had a fake ID and I had $11 to my name and we're getting ready to leave. And I was up at the rack, you know, watching the girl dance. And I, I was like, I wanted to tip her. So I give her and you know, she opens up her guard and I put in what I thought was the $10 bill. I mean the $1 bill and I put in the $10 bill. And as I'm leaving to go out, I'm think I look down and I see I had $1 that I needed for the next day, 19 hour drive to get home to buy food. And I'm, that wasn't going to work. So a uh, bright idea, go ask the girl for it back. And I mistakenly went back up and explained to her my situation, which I thought I presented rather well and explained to her that I meant to give you, you know, a $1 bill, but I gave you that 10, $10 bill right there. Can I have that back? And she committed to balling it up and throwing it in my face and, pretty much calling me a child and yelling at me in front of everybody. <laughs> but that's still not my most embarrassing moment. All right. So we got, let's, uh, nine and five, let's do one or two more. Um, and again, thank you guys. 
uh, Cosmic Simpleton, Maeve and I appreciate you for you know, for doing this live and explaining the personal significance of tonight's charitable cause. Happy to donate, and thank you for the donation. Listen, and again, I know I know a lot of people wanted me to do this live a lot earlier. I didn't. I, I needed to get my facts straight. Again, I never I never want to be first. I want to be right. I never am going to be the guy that's breaking news if I don't know the facts to it. And I just wanted to let, I wanted to let a lot of the information and I wanted to let a lot of the other guys get their voices and their, their, their displeasure out first before, before I spoke. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about breaking news. I don't, I don't, I just don't care about that. That's never going to be me. I just, I, I want to make sure that the words I, uh, that I use when it's with a situation as, as serious as this, I just want to make sure that they are weighted, that they are measured and that I know what I'm, I know, and I formulate a thought and I put that thought forth without having to go back and think that, ah, should I said that? Should I not have said that? It's not how I want to attack this. All right. A couple more. Uh, Blad, another one from Bladder Pen. Thank you, Maeve. Tell us the truth. Did you have a date or something with one of the divas? The divas were very hot back then. Yes, they were. Candace, Maria, Stacy, etc. Um, etc. etc. <laughs> you nailed it with etc. <laughs> um, great question. <laughs> um, guys, we're gonna be wrapping up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap this up. I know an hour and and that was a lot to ask from people. Thank you so much. Guys, I always tell you, um, help us make this channel better. Help us do this and you know, give you guys what you're, what you're looking for. We're constantly, we're, me and this guy, we text each other ideas nonstop, whether it be video ideas or just channel ideas, how to just, just, just adapt, move forward. We got some, some ideas, you know, that, you know, that we're going to be implementing like next month, I'm going down and I'm going to be spending a weekend with Booker T and we're going to have some interesting stuff coming up. Booker's already agreed to do some videos for this channel and I can't wait for it. There's another one to check out, check out Booker's, Booker's channel. And before we go, I, I just fucked everything up. I literally hit something and it zoomed out. I don't, oh, there it is. It's back. Never mind. And before we go again, guys, do me one. I, do me the favor, Stevie Richards, go to it. Stevie Richards Wrestling Allow an, an Analysis, go to it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Stevie's having a hell of a time right now, and Stevie puts out good stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want I want him to get his, his I want him to get a silver play button, and I don't want him to be discouraged because what's happening to it is easily to be become discouraged from. Renee Dupree, also check out Renee. Got one. Is it a good, final question? good final question. All right, let's see. Euro Nation, how often do you shave your head? Great question. And I'm actually, I'm actually balding now. A couple of years ago, come to find out, I, uh, yeah, I was, I, I used to when I worked for HSN, I would fade my hair up because they wanted me to have hair. And you know, I went to go get a haircut, and the guy was like, "Well, how do you want me to do this around the bald spot?" And I'm like, "Bald spot!" And literally, when I found out that that being bald was no longer my decision, but his, man, it upset me. <laughs> I've been bald since college, but it literally it, it like bothered me. Um, it depends if <laughs> if I'm not like if I'm not doing anything like this or filming, I'll man, I'll let it I'll let it go. When he picked me up the other day, I had a full beard. And my beard was gray and my hair, yeah, it's, it's, it, but it also ages me. You, you know, the guy who said earlier, you look good. And when, when my hair is grown out, my beard, yeah, I look literally like I'm about 70. So I shave my head. Usually I always shave at the beginning of the week for work on like Monday, Monday morning. And then I usually have to shave it again by Wednesday. If I need to look presentable, I shave it every other day. So there's your answer. Guys, we had, between four and five thousand people on here the entire time i'm humbled i just i can't thank you enough continue continue to tell us how to make this channel better we love putting videos out i love sharing i, lo I love sharing my experiences with you i do and that's that happens because because of you guys keep commenting in the videos um and whenever like yeah listen i 
<laughs> it's funny because people that comment that think they're hating, man, it just makes me laugh. So I don't give a shit. But comment. I love knowing what your thoughts are. And the positive comments just literally make my day. I get comments that people say, I don't know who the hell you are, but I love what you do. Well, I love the channel. Man, that's, man, that makes my day. So I can't thank you enough, guys. Know for everyone that donated, know that I think we're going to make a difference tonight. And I can't wait till you know YouTube releases this money and we can release it. And to everyone, to all the to all the four thousand and five thousand people that were here tonight watching live, man, we're the difference. We're what's going to move this business to the next chapter. We are the reason that what a select few decided to do out of arrogance. That's not going to be the chapter because of us, because of every single one of us. We're going to say it. Not on our fucking watch. Not on our fucking watch. Guys, have a great night and be ready for Friday's video. I love every single one of you. Thank you again for the donations. And we'll see you again very soon. I think I did it. I think I did it. Did it again. God damn it. You just, yeah. Like, what am I not doing? <laughs> Like what literally, what am I, I'm hitting in stream. How the hell, like how the hell is that not ending it?